shelter traps are very basic. It can be a whole range of different uh, objects that are used uh, in this context. So I've got a couple of examples here, a tile and a pot, but it could be a piece of old carpet, a hessian bag that's used. And what we're trying to do is retain the moisture under that tile or, or pot that will attract those range of insects that depended on the moisture. The insects that we are targeting with these shelter traps are things like slugs, slaters, earwigs, and perhaps millipedes. So all those ground dwelling or soil dwelling uh, insects would set maybe three or four across the paddock in hot spots that we know from our past history. This is a very simple monitoring technique that can be used for those pests uh, that rely on moisture and we can provide uh, valuable information prior to the crop uh, emerging. This is a pitfall trap. It's commonly used uh, to collect uh, insects that are the ground dwellers or the residents uh, in the paddock. It's a matter of just having a, a, a cup or a container that you dig into the ground and then level the top level with the soil surface. Uh, and then some liquid. We commonly use uh, alcohol and a little bit of water uh, in them. We can leave them out in the paddock for uh, maybe three or four days to a week. Usually you have to try and pick a time when it's not going to rain. Typically we would collect things like earwigs, uh, slaters. Uh, we might collect some of the beneficials like uh, the carabid beetles or spiders. So this, in, this is good uh, to monitor, be put out maybe uh, two to three weeks prior to the uh, crop being planted and it gives the information on what potential pests uh, and beneficials that we might see as the crop emerges. So this is a bait trap. Uh, the benefits of using this are that we're attracting uh, those range of subsoil uh, insect pests, often the larvae stage, that are attracted to the bait uh, and they would normally be attracted to the plant roots or to the young seedlings as they emerge. So this bait has been buried about uh, four or five days and if we dig it out carefully, we will see uh, evidence of um, either the bait being eaten or the presence of the different larvae. The pest larvae uh, would most likely be in close proximity to the, to the bait or actually still feeding on the bait. It gives us uh, information prior to the crop being sown uh, about the level of risk that those pests could um, uh, damage the crop. Go to the description bar below for the latest information, links and resources.